Hello, dear students and esteemed viewers. It's Dr. Britt here, feeling pleasure to submit another video lecture relating to atomic structure. Of course, this video lecture is in continuation to our earlier lecture on electromagnetic radiations. Uh, there is a special type of radiation, of course, related to electromagnetic radiation itself, which is known as black body radiation. What is black body radiation and what is a black body? We shall get all details about this. To understand it well, I will prefer to provide and continue with a very simple example or illustration. I suppose everybody must have observed uh, a glowing electric bulb or it, an electric toaster being heated up. Actually, when you connect the electric bulb to the source of energy that is electricity, we find that its element glows red and thereafter only when uh, it gets heated up as red, uh, it emits energy uh, as electromagnetic waves and that is within the visible region. So, we observe the light from a uh, heated filament of a bulb, electric bulb. Similarly, when you heat toaster, what happens? Heating toaster, we find that again it turns red and emits radiations in form of heat along with some light. Now, this heat is because of the infrared IR radiation. Its uh, element glows red. And uh, another example, a very common example is related to the working of a blacksmith in a foundry. I suppose many of us have observed a blacksmith working over heated iron. When an uh, iron rod is heated in a furnace with increasing temperature we find that the rod, iron rod, becomes red and at different temperatures it shows different colors. As the temperature is heated, uh, increased, we find the heat being emitted from the iron rod at different temperatures the rod turns different colors, heated iron of course. And uh, starting from the various ranges of red color, like down red, blood red, dark cherry, medium cherry, cherry etc. and finally it turns uh, orange and yellow. And lastly we find at a temperature of about 1205 degrees Celsius or 1480 degree, uh, 80 Kelvin, it turns white. So, a blacksmith can easily make out from by observing the color of the heated iron in a furnace, what's the temperature and accordingly he works it. So, this is a very good example of black body radiations. Now, it would be worthwhile to understand what is black body. And what is black body radiation? Why it is caused? If we recall, the frequency of electromagnetic radiation depends upon the temperature of the body. A colder substance, a colder object emits radiations of a lower frequency as compared to a object at a higher temperature. If the temperature is increased, the frequency of the electromagnetic radiations 
becomes more and more. So, this makes us to understand that there is a relation between the temperature of the body and also the radiations which are emitted by them, by the body. And uh, so, there is an equilibrium established between the temperature of the body and the surrounding electromagnetic field. Now, let us take up what is meant by black body. What is black body? A black body is an idealized object which will absorb all type of radiations. No reflection. It won't reflect any light. It will absorb, go on absorbing the electro, uh, the incident light upon it. And of course, when the black temperature of the black body is increased, it will start emitting radiations in different ranges of a spectrum. And since the emission is dependent upon the temperature, the radiations which are given by a black body are known as thermal radiation. We call it a thermal radiation. And uh, of course, a black body will never emit radiations without heating at a temperature. If you continue heating, it will, it will emit different ranges of a spectrum. Okay. And the, the radiations emitted by the black body can be of any wavelength or in any direction. The extent of the amount of re emitted energy depends upon the temperature of the black body at a fixed wavelength. Any other surface cannot exist. Uh, energy cannot emit energy greater than black body at the same temperature and wavelength. Well, these are the few characteristics. Not only this, we find that the thermal uh, emission or thermal radiation shows light with different intensities and it depends upon the wavelength and the brightness or the intensity of the light depends upon the wavelength and at the temperature. When a black body is at a lower temperature, heated to a lower temperature, we find at the same wavelength, the intensity is lower as compared to the higher temperature, that one of the higher temperature. Now here is a graph. We have plotted wavelength against intensity of light. What we observe, as the wavelength is increased, at a lower temperature, the intensity is less, whereas if the body is at a higher temperature on the same wavelength, the intensity of light or what we call as radiation intensity is more. Here is a diagram where T2 is greater than T1, of course in Kelvin is K. So, now as the wavelength, and one thing is very typical about it, that it goes on increase, increasing the brightness depending upon temperature becomes more and more with increasing wavelength. And then there is a limit maxima. It reaches a maximum and then again comes down. Uh, we can say it reaches a maxima which is termed as peak. And then, when you increase the wavelength, it goes down lower and lower and lower and decreases. So, these two diagram, graphical representation shows how the <coughs> intensity of light or radiation de uh, density depends upon wavelength of a black body at a particular temperature. Greater the temperature, greater is the maxima. Here are three different examples. 
a substance or material at 5000 Kelvin. Of course, black body when heated to 5000 Kelvin. Similarly, another the same black body heated to 4000 Kelvin and then 3000 Kelvin. We find the maxima is greater at 5000 goes on increasing with increasing wavelength and lesser at 4000 Kelvin and least in 3000 Kelvin. Typical about is that the peak appears in the range of visible region. Maximum light is seen over here. And then when we increase the wavelength again, we find it goes down uh, the radiations, intensity of radiation or uh, the density of radiation becomes lower and lower and lower. So, this is all about black body radiation. And here itself, I suppose it, be, it should be worthwhile that there is a term which is known as gray body. Gray body means a material, a substance which will absorb radiation independent of temperature or wavelength of the incident rays. It is defined as gray body. Then we close here and I think this is an important topic which will help us a lot to understand the uh, emission and absorption spectra of an substance of an atom. And uh, a number of questions are given in text question as well as the um, exercise given at the end of the uh, chapter CBSE book. Please go through it and if there is any doubt, you may definitely contact me uh, through my mail ID. Okay. And uh, always welcome. We shall be back again very soon with some other topic, maybe a lecture on photoelectric effect. Thank you very much.